Let's just go for auto sequence start. T minus 27 seconds and counting. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 18 seconds. 15. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavor and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Houston Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavor's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. Endeavor flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for a burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Booster officer confirms the SRBs, or solid rocket boosters, have separated. Two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Endeavour flying at 3,100 miles per hour, 37 miles in altitude, and 51 miles downrange. Endeavour, two engine Marone. Two engine Marone. Sonic booms uh, audible at the landing site. This is a view from the heads-up display in the cockpit of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Three minutes to touchdown. Endeavour flying at altitude of 30,000 feet at 510 miles per hour. Endeavour on at the 180. On at the 180. Pilot Doug Hurley taking a chance to fly the spatial Endeavour around the heading alignment cylinder. Commander Mark Polanski back under uh, control of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, setting up for the final approach at the desired heading, altitude, airspeed, and rate of descent. Endeavour, on at the 90. On at the 90. Two minutes to touchdown, 17,000 feet in altitude. Endeavour flying at 400 miles per hour.
conceivers on Endeavour are interacting with stations on the ground to provide the best available range, elevation, and azimuth. KSC runway 15 is in sight. Houston copies, field in sight. One and a half minutes to touchdown. Less than 10,000 feet in altitude remaining. Endeavour's descent rate is 20 times higher and seven times steeper than a commercial airliner on the final approach. One minute to touchdown. Endeavour's landing gear will be locked down in place at 300 feet in altitude. Thirty seconds to touchdown. The landing gear is down and locked. Landing gear touchdown. Uh, Doug Hurley now deploying the direct shoot. And Commander Mark Polanski rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Endeavour rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 6.5 million mile mission. This is the 71st landing at the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour has completed its 23rd mission and the 127th space shuttle mission. It was the 29th to the International Space Station. Endeavor, welcome home. Congratulations on a superb mission from beginning to end. Very well done.